What's up, developers? Today we're going to be talking about Chris Sean and the roller coaster of a ride he's been going through during this crazy pandemic. If you don't know who Chris Sean is, he is a self taught OG developer, YouTuber, influencer who has been documenting his journey on becoming a software engineer from scratch. His online presence in the tech community is pretty big, and he truly does epitomize the idea that you start from the bottom and now you're here. I've been personally following him for about two years now, and I love watching his videos. Any self taught or aspiring developer has most likely seen his videos. Not only is his video production quality way better than mine, but everyone can relate to his story imposter syndrome, not feeling like you're good enough. We've all been there. But Chris Sean was one of the first to really just share it to the world. If you're not up to date with Twitter news, you might not have heard that he got laid off from his job at Entrepreneur because of the pandemic. I'm just going to share a small clip from this video that he posted. Chris, please don't copyright strike me. I just want to share a clip where I got the feels. I'm pretty sure a lot of people are sad for you. So let's just roll that tape. And what I noticed was that it wasn't just my boss in the chat room. <laughs> And I saw it was also our lawyer. And right when I saw that, right before I even clicked join to officially join the video, I, I immediately knew, right, that it was it. So I go in there. My boss uh, immediately says, Chris, we have some bad news to tell you. Uh, and right when he said that, yeah, um, my heart completely sunk because I knew it was coming already. Uh, he said, um, due to COVID-19 and et cetera, that, that they were going to have to let me go. Man, watching this video, you can't help but feel for Chris Sean. As viewers, we definitely feel a lot happier when he lands that job or something good happens to him. But at the same time, we also feel very sad for him whenever something bad happens. And this was definitely one of those moments. Don't worry, though. There is a happy ending. And... Your boy Chris Sean is a hustler. He got two job offers in a week after he got laid off. That is so amazing. And getting one job offer is already hard enough, but to get two job offers in such a short span is just mind blowing. And that got me really thinking, how the heck did he do it? <laughs> Well, the first thing that he did was post on Twitter right after he got laid off. And holy moly, this dude is freaking popular on Twitter. 129 replies, 4.6 thousand retweets, 3,000 likes. That is insane. It just shows you how much people care for this dude. There were no hashtags or anything like that. People genuinely care for Chris. I read some of the comments showing words of encouragement. But more importantly, I noticed that some of these comments, they were directing him to their job company websites. That is freaking amazing. I'm sure Chris got some great references to some of these companies because people already knew him from his YouTube channel. And that got me thinking again, what can we learn as software developers from Chris's journey? The biggest takeaway or lesson that I got watching this whole thing play out is that you need some kind of online presence in the tech community whether that be an internet presence or within your local community. You might ask yourself, why do I need a presence in my community, whether it's online or local? And it sounds very cliche, but it's so true. It's not what you know, it's who you know. I'm gonna say that again, it's not what you know, it's who you know. And even though Chris might not know everyone, a lot of people know who he is. In a way, Chris's hard work and sharing his journey and becoming a software developer is his own resume. He doesn't even code on his channel. I know people complain about that, but that's perfectly fine because we all know that he works full time as a software developer. And look, I get it. We can't all be YouTubers. Making high quality videos is extremely hard. And to be honest, I suck at it too. It doesn't mean that you can't have a presence though. Start off small by writing tech blogs on Medium or Dev.2. Dev.2 is a bit more focused towards the software development but both platforms are really good for sharing information about emerging technologies, tutorials, and much, much more. Another way you could have an online presence is creating a Twitter account and just being active in that tech community space. Developers love Twitter, so definitely check that out. And lastly, you can join a Discord tech community group. 
I found this to be the most beneficial because there are a lot of like-minded people joining some form of a Discord channel. I'm in about five or six Discord channels myself and I really started from not knowing anybody in these Discord channels to having one-on-one -on -one interactions with them, talking to them about their journey and it's super rewarding and it's kind of nice to establish those connections within the tech community. If you're not the type to want an online presence, that's perfectly okay too. Look up local meetups in your area and try to be an active member. Make sure you're always involved and build genuine relationships with your peers. Trust me, it will go a long way if you can build that community. Speaking of community, one thing I love about the tech community is how helpful everyone is. Especially when layoffs are happening, it just feels great to know that you have a community that will support you. I hear so many stories about friends referring each other to their companies and that's really good because the trust is already established. When you build a community, you build trust amongst your peers. So in a situation where you do get laid off, you have a plethora of resources and people that work in the industry that you could talk to and potentially ask them for a job opportunity. I really feel that Chris's YouTube channel and his online presence and his Discord channel is what really got him to, I wouldn't say jump the line of getting that job, but I'm sure a lot of people interviewing him recognize his face and be like, oh yeah, you are the guy who made YouTube videos on becoming a software developer. He already established a rapport with the person that's interviewing him because let's be honest, developers watch a lot of YouTube videos and there aren't many tech slash coding channels out there. So try to find a way to build that presence in your community. You never know what kind of impact it will have on your life. For Chris, having an online presence translated into him getting two job offers in a week. Ask yourself, if you haven't made a Twitter account, joined the Discord channel or written blogs, What's stopping you from putting yourself out there? Identify those blockers and figure out ways to overcome them. Christian, congratulations on getting two job offers in one week. I can't say I'm surprised because I know how hard you work. I'm sure there are a few things I missed in my analysis and I know for a fact that you're going to create a video so you can best be assured that I'm going to smash that like button. On a different note, I had a pleasure of doing a live stream with Real Tough Candy where we talk about life as a senior developer, dealing with imposter syndrome, advice for aspiring developers, and much, much more. I'll add that in the description below, or maybe the video will just pop up one way or the other. Either way, check it out. She is super awesome. She's very informative about this whole tech space and how to land that first job. So definitely check out her channel. And lastly, if you enjoyed content like this, we're close to 600 subscribers. That is super crazy to me. I mean, I would have just been happy with 10, but the fact that there are people that want to hear content like this, I am super thankful. So if you like content like this, hit that like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. See ya.